I'm Rajendra, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show how you can capture information about the deadlock on Amazon RDS instance running SQL Server. Let's get started. In this video, I'll show you several ways to capture information about a deadlock on Amazon RDS DB instance running SQL Server. First, let's see how to do this by enabling trace flags from the parameter groups. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the Amazon RTS console. Then select parameter groups from the navigation pane. Create a parameter group. From the parameter group family, choose the SQL Server version and edition that you are using. For example, I'm using SQL Server 2016 Enterprise Edition uses SQL Server E13.0. Enter the group name in the description. Then select create. From the parameter groups page, choose the parameter group that you just created. Then select edit parameters. Check the boxes next to 1204 and 1222. Change the values for both the trace flags to one. Select preview changes, then choose save changes in the next page. Choose the databases from the navigation pane. From the DB identifier, choose your database and then select modify. Scroll down to the additional configuration session. From the DB parameter group, choose the parameter group that you created. Scroll down and select continue. Preview the changes in the summary of modifications. Choose the schedule of modifications that you want to use and then choose Modify DB instance. After the modification is complete, you must reboot the RDS instance for the changes to take effect. If you already have a custom parameter attached to the RDS, then you can select the trace flag 1204 and 1222, change the values to 1, and then save changes. You can also capture deadlock event using system health session. Let me show you how to do this. After logging to the AWS managed console, navigate to the RDS console. Then select the database from the navigation pane. From the DB identifier, choose your database. Under the connectivity and security tab, copy the database endpoint string. From your EC2 or on-premises network, Open the SQL Server Management Studio, also called SSMS. Connect to the RDS instance using DB endpoint string that you copied. From the Object Explorer, expand Management folder and then expand Extended Events. Choose Sessions, choose System Health Session and then choose Packet O Event File to open then Extended Event File. When the extended event file is open from the SSMS menu, choose filter, the filter window appears. Select the field value as name, operator as contains, the value as deadlock. Select OK, you will see the events with the deadlocks. Select the event that you want to view, then choose the deadlock tab to see the graph associated with the event. You can also retrieve the deadlocks information using the T-SQL. Connect to the RDS instance using SSMS. Select new query to open a new query window. Run this command. This query outputs deadlock XML. Choose the XML to open the XML file in the new window. Save the XML file with .xdl file extension to convert the XML into a graphical format. Navigate to the file location and then open the XDL file in SSMS to view the deadlock graph. Note, the ring buffer target holds events data in memory. This information is available only as long as the instance isn't rebooted.
when you reboot this information is purged you can also capture deadlock event using an xml deadlock report extended event session connect to the rds instance using the db endpoint string that you have copied from the object explorer expand the management folder and then expand the extended events choose sessions and then select the new session wizard select next on the wizard from the session name I enter the name of the session I am using simple deadlock session select the option to start the event session at the server startup or start the session after the session is created choose next on the choose template page select do not use a template choose next from the event library select xml deadlock report move to the selected events pane and then choose next on the capture global fields page select the values that you want to view i am selecting database name session id SQL text, username, choose next. In the set session event filter page, create event filters to limit the data that you want to capture. For example, I am filtering on the database name event. Choose next. In the specify session data storage page, select save data to the file for later analysis, specify the file location and attributes. Set the maximum file size to 90 MB, select work with only the most recent data. Select next, choose finish. From the object explorer, expand management folder, then expand extended events. Choose sessions. Choose the session that you created, then choose start session. Choose the package event underscore file to open the extended event file. You can also create the session using the tSQL. Let's see how to create it. Connect to the RDS instance using SSMS. Select new query to open new query window. Run this command. This creates a session deadlock detection and then start the session. You can retrieve the deadlock information using SMS or tSQL. Let's see how to use both of them. Using SSMS, open the SSMS from the object explorer, expand the management folder, then expand extended events. Choose sessions, choose the event session that you have created and then choose the page o event file to open the extended event file after the event file loaded choose the event that you want to view then choose deadlock tab to view the graph using tsql connect to the rds instance using sms select new query to open a new query window run this command now you know how to capture information about a deadlock on an Amazon RDS instance that's running SQL Server using several methods. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.